What is up YouTube? This is another Virtus video. This is Carlos. I know it's been forever since I've loaded a video, but I totally have a legit excuse, I promise. I noticed I use my hands a lot. I, I never was that aware until like I watch my videos when I'm editing. I talk a lot with my hands. I must have been Italian. Buongiorno miei amici, io sono di Messico, ma parlo l'italiano, l'ho studiato per due anni. I had visits from a lot of my family from Mexico. So yeah, you know, this is totally what we wear every single day in Mexico. Just kidding guys, we do not wear this every day. Um, or commonly for that matter. Okay, I'm just getting out of really completely out of topic. Let's get back to it. Okay, all right. So I have a couple of stuff that you guys might like. Like the first video that I put up saying that, you know, I have winter stuff. I also managed to get winter stuff. It's like I'm attached to winter stuff. It, it, it is like literally 106 today. All right guys, so the first item I got, or items I should say, are actually beanies. Why? Because they're so versatile. And uh, you could definitely wear these anytime. I mean, I live in Phoenix, Arizona, so obviously I cannot wear this right now. Like I'm wearing it right now, but I'm inside. So it's not like a big deal. But during the day, unless you're kind of crazy and you're just, I have no idea, allergic to the sun, you probably wouldn't be wearing these at all during the summer here but um, either way uh, once fall starts coming up you know this is my go-to especially because right now I'm letting my hair grow out I get to that awkward mid phase where you don't know what to do with your hair and you just hate your life so you know these will come definitely definitely these will come in handy again guys winter stuff are always on sale during the summer uh, definitely like these two are both from H&M I believe yeah this one was a dollar a dollar and this is actual wool which might be select, sort of annoying but it's that oversized one that you know kind of has that cool thing hanging or, or you can like do that you know I don't have to explain beanies to you guys you probably know how to use them better than I do and then this one's kind of cool because it has that grunge kind of dirty look which will look pretty legit you know with all black I wear like a lot of all black apparently uh, but just anything it's pretty legit and then I found this one. I have no idea where I found this one actually. Oh yeah, this is from um, a thrift store actually. It was new. It had the, the tag on it, but it has cool because it has like that that ombre effect on that. Which so it's pretty cool. It will add that touch of you know color or maybe lack of color, but it will add you know something interesting definitely to your outfit, especially if you're playing. Uh, definitely a really awesome. I definitely will be rocking these to school my last year in school So thumbs up for that, that was item number one the second item was actually this shirt that I'm wearing right now I'm obviously wearing it a lot more casual, but this is an easily I could easily dress this shirt up It is from Express. Um, I love the way those shirts fit again the shoulders line up with my shoulders So it always looks streamlined. It looks fitted. It looks awesome. You will rock it Everyone will compliment you. GQ status, guys. GQ status. Uh, but yeah, you know, obviously you can wear this down. Like, I'm just wearing a plain H&M tee with, like, a kind of, like, a longer cropped neck here. Uh, but yeah, it looks pretty, pretty cheap. Pretty cheap. Pretty, <laughs> pretty legit. I mean, it was cheap. I got it, honestly, it was $7 at the thrift store, and it was new. It had the tags. It's pretty cool. You know, it's long sleeve, and I'm wearing it with shorts right now. You probably can't see them because of the camera angle. But yeah, you can easily wear this down, and I think my hair just got out of this. You can easily wear these um, casually, or you could definitely dress them up. Like, I could totally see these with, you know, some chinos, or, you know, with some nice um, dress pants, and maybe even a black bow tie, you know. You know, looking all smug and dapper. All right, <laughs> anyways. So the second item I got actually at a thrift store, and I got this for like a dollar. It's Lacoste. You, I don't know if you can tell, but it kind of has like some spots here. It looks like they kind of, maybe like it was um, washed with something with chlorine or something like that. But I thought that was kind of cool. Maybe I'm just weird, but I thought it kind of adds like a cool different kind of texture to it. Well, not texture, but like it adds like a little contrast. Some spots are more um, obvious than others, but what I was thinking, because it was so cheap, and um, that I could definitely like not dip dye this, but I can kind of either put this in chlorine, um, diluted with water of course, and um, give it some kind of like a grunge kind of feel to it. Not dye, because I don't really like dye shirts. You know, I can, I'm definitely gonna like put something, a video of whenever I do do something to this shirt, 
Because I mean, for a dollar, Lacoste, I mean, you can't really go wrong, you know. If not, I could just wear it as, you know, pajamas because it's super cheap. Okay, an actual store I went to. I went to Zara and I found this denim yeah, shirt. So that's what it's called. And it is from Zara Man, of course, and it is pretty legit. It has like a two-tone denim here that you can see from the back to the front. The darker denim, it goes to the front, so you have that like that little V detail. It kind of looks like Levi's. Um, and it's pretty cool, and it will look pretty awesome. Like, I'm sure it'll look really good with just um, a white tee under. Um, definitely for a very casual look. It will look pretty awesome. So, and this was on sale before their fall. Um, lines start coming out. They have like their summer sales. So, um, at least my the Zara that's close to my house, um, they have everything on sale. So, if you have a Zara close to you, I would check it out. All right, guys. So another thing I found at uh, a thrift store. Again, I've been thrifting a lot. Well, because my family is here, so we always like check out like a lot of really random stores. We also go through thrift stores because I mean, why not? Um, something that I was really surprised to find. Again, you will find the randomest things in the randomest spots in the randomest stores. But uh, I found an actual and authentic Louis Vuitton Epi wallet, I believe is the texture, the style called Epi. And um, I checked it out because I'm like, maybe this is not authentic. So I was like Googling. That's another tip, guys. Google when you're like sh out shopping. Um, you might find some cool stuff and you never really know how much things are worth until you Google it. So I Google a lot of stuff. You'll find me like at thrift stores and I'll be like, uh, Googling, textured, wallet, Louis Vuitton, uh, authenticity, how to find out, you know, kind of stuff like that. And I found this one and it is actually pretty legit. I mean, I have my ID there, don't want you to see that. But yeah, you know, I don't know if you can read that. It's Louis Vuitton and it actually has the authenticity code inside of here. So that's how you know it's actually real. Um, and it has the code where it was fabricated, the year. So that's pretty legit. I mean, and I actually got this for $3. $3 at the thrift store. I'm not so sure if they did that on purpose, they, they just put it for $3, or maybe they just didn't know. But either way, $3, I mean, you can't go wrong with a Louis Vuitton wallet. So, check out those thrift stores, guys. That's the moral of the story. But yeah, guys, um, so that was just kind of like a mini um, haul that I did during these two weeks that I was absent from YouTube, that my presence wasn't there virtually to help you guys out in your GQ status endeavor journey to being the best looking awesome man that you can be and that was a lot of mumbo jumbo anyways uh i will have some lookbooks coming up hopefully this by the end of this week i'll have one up